looking around this room, I see about 10 males. Out of those, I can spot a couple that would classify as middle-aged or older. Now, as scientists, I'm sure that we're all very healthy individuals and are probably non-smokers. But if you're a middle-aged smoking male, I suggest you pay particular attention to this talk. My pa was one of these men when he was diagnosed with abdominal aortic aneurysm, or AAA, which is the ballooning of the major blood vessel of the body. 62 years old and a smoker for the majority of his life, he had all the, all the risk factors, but like many patients with AAA, he had no symptoms. My pa's aneurysm was happened upon when a radiologist performed a scan following surgery he had for prostate cancer. At this point, his doctors said, congratulations, you're cancer free, but you have a seven centimeter aneurysm in your abdomen, which could rupture at any moment. He then went on to find out that acute rupture has a mortality rate of 90%. So yes, congratulations, grandpa. There are currently two surgical options available for patients with AAA. My pa was scheduled to have the less invasive EVA, where they insert a stent to reinforce the blood vessel so it doesn't rupture. By the time he got to hospital, his aneurysm had grown a few more centimetres, making his only option open surgery. This surgery was very complicated and he spent three days in the ICU where his life hung in the balance. But what if my past story didn't have to be like this? In our lab, we've developed a new therapy towards AAA. This therapy uses smart microbubbles, which when injected into the bloodstream can seek out and bind to the area of AAA. The biggest advantage of this therapy is the ability to visualize the bubbles using ultrasound. Once visualized, the ultrasound technician can burst the bubbles, delivering the therapy directly into the aneurysm. When we tested this therapy on a mouse model of AAA, we were able to shrink the aneurysm to a point where it almost looked like a healthy vessel again. So what if this therapy was available when my pa was diagnosed with AAA? He could have received treatment during those months he waited for surgery, instead of sitting at home with a ticking time bomb inside him. Not only that, this therapy might have even stabilised his aneurysm to a point where he didn't need surgery at all. It's too late for my pa, but my hope is that in the near future, this therapy will be used as standard care for patients with AAA so that their story will be different to the one I've just told you. Thank you.